Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, with today's video of the uh, Tesla Semi Factory. Today's video is entitled Tesla Semi Factory Concrete Progress. The dateline is Giga Nevada Semi Factory Construction Site, July 24th, 2024. The big news for today is concrete progress. Literally, concrete trucks are streaming into the site and footings are being actively poured with multiple concrete trucks um, per footing, back, backed up to per footing and a stream of them coming into the site from the, from the nearby batch plant. When we get a wider angle, we can see that more progress has been made in digging footings, but for the first time ever, this perimeter grade uh, foundation has concrete, has been poured with concrete, and I'm not sure if it'll take one more pour, if they're gonna do it in two steps, but um, it's pretty exciting to see. That end over there at the far southwest end has been recently dug, and you notice it was a giant um, footing versus uh, versus the small exterior grade footing that we've seen before. In the background, you can see the Giga Nevada factory, existing factory. Here's a close up of those trucks pouring, getting ready to pour. And um, when we proceed to the left, heading from west to east along the northern boundary of the construction site, you'll see that there are more construction worker vehicles parked in the fenced off parking area than ever before. And I'll, I'll uh, point that out when we get there. We are slowly panning out to see a better overall view of the entire semi-factory construction site. And there are more footings have been dug, but maybe not as many as I might have expected. I have a previous video where I um, speculate on which way the orientation of the semi-production lines might be. And this is all speculation. I am basing it on the uh, the width of the uh, production lines at the prototype line, and that may or may not inform us about how the uh, orientation and the construction of the uh, permanent high volume lines are going to uh, look. In the middle of the uh, shot, you can see an excavator digging more footings. And you'll also notice the gap between one approximately 500 foot section and the beginning of what may be another 500 foot section. If in fact, my um, proposed or uh, possible semi -orient line orientation is in fact two lines oriented from north to south, meeting in the middle. Here's a nice look around at the 4,000 foot base elevation of north, all of northern Nevada with the local mountains. You probably didn't see it, but there are a lot of wild Mustangs. I often see them driving into uh, Giga Nevada up Electric Avenue. And then I turn left on Milan Drive and I drive past the semi-factory, the prototype semi-factory. 
until I uh, get to this drone takeoff location. As we pan to the left, we can see the additional footings that have been dug on the north side and all of the steel components that have been brought in, the columns, the beams, and the roof trusses are readily available. And um, in a minute, I think we'll see the uh, parking area with um, more construction worker vehicles parked in the fenced off area than I've ever seen, indicating a, more activity. They're putting some, they're bringing rock, I saw rock trucks entering the uh, new entrance and driving up that top left road that goes from the new entrance to the existing Gigafactory and they're still doing some uh, riprap placement for uh, storm water management and uh, drainage and erosion control. Right there are a bunch of uh, roof trusses uh, they put them on the far south end, or I should say the far east end of the site and uh, to keep them out of the way because they'll be the last things, the last piece of metal structure that they'll uh, be assembling. The next big watershed event will be the arrival of cranes to assemble the columns, beams, and roof trusses, and that'll be an exciting event. Here's a, here's a, here's a look at a cement truck coming in to the site through the guard shack and uh, controlled entrance to the uh, Gigafactory semi-factory construction site. And still some work making extra room on that far east side to make it a clear path. That was a, there was a veritable mountain there that has been moved and that all that fill dirt has been moved to the opposite end of the um, factory kitty corner to this area, which is the east, northeast, and much of that dirt, or all of, the, all of that material has been moved to the southwest. And they filled in a little bit of a canyon there. I could speculate that that's gonna be employee parking. Here's the, uh, here's the area with all the uh, contractor, construction worker parking and one of many cement trucks that I saw streaming into the site. That's all I have for today, but it's an exciting day to see the cement finally arrive and foundations being poured one step closer to the uh, columns being assembled and then the beams and roof trusses and giant crane activity that um, will be that I'm looking forward to uh, covering. Thanks for joining.